Hey guys, I'm Steve and welcome to my world. Today we are going to be putting together our second character of our two-part box of the Lego Brickheads. These are the Disney Ariel and Ursula. In our first video we put together our Ariel. A lot of good detail work in these things. Especially these two characters. They're, this is a lot more pieces. 361 pieces between the two of them. Really, really good detail. Today we're going to be putting together our Ursula. So let's put Ariel to the side for just a second. We're going to open the box back up, dump out our bags, and we're going to go ahead and stick the box off to the side because it causes focusing issues with the Legos. So we're going to put that over here. And we're going to move our Ariel over here as well and put her on top of the box. We will bring her back in in a little bit. So we're going to open up all of our pieces and dump them in right here. Okay, we have a bag within a bag, so we're going to open up that bag too. It's got a lot of small pieces in it. And then we have another bag for Ursula as well. Dump that out. So now we have all of our pieces. We're going to take and put the stand in the background because we don't need it right now. With all Legos, guys, we get a really incredible Lego instruction guide. And it has step-by-step -step instructions of what we need to do to build our Ursula. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera down so you guys can see a little bit of what we're working with. There you go. Move her off to the, the box off the side to cast a little bit of a shadow. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So we're going to start with these pieces that look like this. So we have some gray pieces that have a step in them, there and there, and then two pegs on the side. We're going to put two of those together like this. And then we're going to put a six-piece white one straight across, or I'm sorry, an eight-piece white one straight across the middle like this. So we'll have one there, and we'll have one maybe there. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Next up, we are going to take and add four of these black pieces that look like this. They're an L-shaped piece with two pegs here, and then on the other side, there are two pegs coming off the side. So we're going to put two under both sides. So we're going to put one there and one here. Flip it around, do the same thing. One here and... Um, wait, there it is. One right here. So this is what we have so far. Okay. Next up, we're going to take four of these little yellow circles that look like this, and we're going to put one in each of the four corners of the black. So we're going to put one down here. We're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right there. And we're going to put one right there. So there we go. Okay, next up. We're going to take a big black piece that looks like this. It's a thick four piece. And on one side, it's got four pegs that come off the other side. So we're going to take it, holding this like this. We're going to put the four piece with the pegs coming off the back of this way over here. <clears throat> then we're going to put on four of these pieces that look like this. They look like a washing machine. We've got a little ledge on the bottom of them. Okay, we're going to put the ledges out to the sides. So we're going to put one here, put one next to that one, like that. We do the same thing on the other side, one here, and another one just like that. Okay, then we're going to take and put another, uh, let's see here, another one of these four-piece black ones with the pegs on one side, put the pegs facing us towards the front, like this, okay? And then we're going to take this red four-piece thick circle and we're going to shove it down inside there. Like that. Alright, next up. We're going to take a one that looks like this. So it's got pegs all the way around it. It's got a big hole in the middle. We're going to stick that right on top of all of this. So you can still see the red circle. Then we're going to take and add two of these big gray ones. So we're going to take these four pieces, two, blo two piece blocks with four pegs on the sides, big thick ones. We're going to put them 
on. Let's see which way am I holding this. Make sure I'm holding it the right way. This way is right. We're going to put them on the sides there. And one over here on this side like that. And then we're going to put another four-piece regular block right across the front like this. So whatever side this is. All right, then we're going to take two more red ones and we're going to shove them down inside there. We're going to put them on top of each other first, like this, two of those big red circles. Then we're going to shove it down inside there like this, push it all together like that. And then we're going to take and put a black piece that has Ursula's shell on it right here across the front like that. Okay. Then we're going to take and put a eight piece, an eight piece purple right across there. And then we're going to put, oh, let's see here, an eight piece or a four piece bl black thick one on the back, followed by a four piece thick purple one on the back. And there we go. All right, next up, we're going to take an eight-piece black one that looks like this. We're going to put it right here across the front, all the way across the front, right there. All right, next up, we're going to turn Ursula over upside down, just like this. We're going to take some of these curved pieces. They're stepped curved pieces, what I call them. They got a little step up in them, and then they are curved. They are two pieces wide. We're going to put them right in the middle right here in the gray spots. So one there, and then the other one's gonna go right here up. So we're gonna put it right like that. Okay. Then we're going to take, and with her shell facing us like this, we're going to take two more of those and put them right here on the front. So we're gonna put one right here, and then we're gonna put one right here. Oops, upside down. Just like that, okay. And then we're going to put two of these pieces that are sloped. They're just a triangle piece. Looks like this. And we're going to put them facing each other so the slope goes in towards each other. So we're going to put one like that. And then we're going to go ahead and put one facing the other way. Just like that. Okay. Next up, we're going to take and add a lot of tentacles. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces that look like this. It's got a big arch with a little ledge off of it. And on top of that, we're going to put a one-piece black one that looks just a one peg. I have to do that six times. So there's one. There's two. There's three. Four. Five. And... Six. All right, now we're gonna take those six and we're gonna put them on all four pegs on the front and the sides. So we're gonna put them like this and like this. So they're becoming tentacles. So we're gonna put them on the sides here, and the sides here. And we're gonna put it over the other side here and here. <clears throat> so there's what we have. If you look at it from the bottom, the sides, really cool. All right, so now we're going to take and flip her around to the back side, just like this. And then we're going to take a four-piece black one that looks like this. And we're going to stick it right in the middle here. And then we're going to take some more of these arched steps, step-up pieces that look like this, two wide. And we're going to put them right here, sloping this way. And we got one more that we're going to slope the other way, just like that. Okay. Next up, we're going to take and turn her back around, set her right here for a minute. Okay, we're going to take two of these light purple pieces that look like this, just two blocks. We're going to put them together. Okay. Then across the other way, we're going to put a purple one that has a, a hook coming out of it. Looks like that. We put it across the this side here, so they're holding them together. Then across the other side, we're going to put a smooth uh, two-piece, so nothing, no pegs, right like that. Oops. 
So we're gonna do that again, because we gotta make two, these are gonna be her hands. So we're gonna put them like this. Find another purple one with a hook. Put it there and there. And then a smooth purple one, put it right there. And now we're gonna attach them to her body. So we're gonna put them right here, like this. There's her hand. Ooh. And you're gonna put the other one on the other side, like this. Okay. Next up, we are going to take these gray pieces again, holding her just like this. These gray pieces, two piece with four pegs on the sides. We put one in the middle on the back, and then one down each side, right next to it. So there and there. Remember, all pegs go to the outside. Okay. <clears throat> then we're going to take this big, thick green four block, and we're going to put on it a tube piece green thick block on the back. Then we're going to put a one piece orange or two piece orange on the front and then another two piece orange on top of that then we're going to take that whole thing and push it down inside the middle it's going to be our filler all right next up we're going to take more gray pieces and put one on each side again and then one right in the middle remember all pegs facing out okay all right, next up, we're going to take two more of those big gray pieces and we're going to put them on the back. So one here like this and one here, oops, pegs out like this. So that's what our back looks like now. Then we're going to take some of these very light bluish green pieces that have two pegs on one side. We're going to push those pegs out towards the sides and they're going to go right here. So there's one with the pegs out that way and there's going to be one with the pegs out that way. All right, then we're going to put these stepped up pieces again, these gray pieces with the little steps in those in the slots or the uh, pegs on the sides. We're going to put them with the pegs out this way and the pegs out the other way as well. Like that. All right, next we're going to take and put a dark gray circular piece right in the center. This is, oops, oh no. Okay, we're going to take that dark gray center piece, circle piece, put it right there. Then we're going to take an orange two piece and we're going to put it right in the front, right there. Next up, we're going to take a big thick pink block, four block, put it right in the middle. And then we're going to take some beige pieces, three of them that each have two pegs, and we're going to put the pegs all the way out. So we're going to put one there, we're going to put one there, and then we're going to put one coming out the front. So this is what we have. Okay, next up, we're going to take some more of those gray pieces that have the step, looks like this, two pegs coming out the sides. We're going to put them right in the middle here, and one the other way, here. Okay, then we're going to take a two-piece orange, looks like this, and we're going to put it on top of these two right here. So we're going to put it in right there. Then we're going to take one of these stepped up black pieces, curved black pieces, and we're going to put it in right there. Okay? Alright, so next up, we're going to take and put in two of these white pieces that have the ledge. Look like this, they're curved, have a ledge. They're going to go right on top of the orange, so there's going to be one there. I lost one of our tentacles, I can feel it. There it is. Put that back in there real quick. Okay, and then we're going to put another one, Ooh, maybe, there it is, put it right beside it, covering up the orange. Okay, then we got these pieces that look like this. They're not curved, but they're actually sloped, and we're going to put two of them on the back too. So we're going to put one here, and then we're going to find the other one, and we're going to put it right here. So it gives us a little bit of an effect to her hair. All right, next up, we're going to take a four-piece white. We're going to put it across the top here, just like this. Then we're going to take a four-piece square white one right in the middle, put it right there. Okay. Then we're going to take two triangle pieces, solo pieces, and we're going to put them sloping away from her head on there, and the other one is going to be over there. Okay. Next up, we're going to take some of these one of these really large curved pieces 
and we're going to put it on the face of this gray piece right here like that and then we're going to take a piece that looks like this it's got one peg on it with a big triangle and it's going to go right back in here like that all right next up we're going to take um, another one of these triangle pieces that looks like this with one peg and a triangle then we're going to put on top of that a one piece single right here looks like that and then we're going to take another one of these big long curved ones with the slope going this way we're going to put it in like that okay and then we're going to take that whole thing we're going to turn it this way and we're going to put it on the face of this one like that okay all right next up we're going to take a an eight piece white one we're going to cover that whole thing up up there at the top then we're going to take an eight piece purple one right underneath it then we're going to take two of the two piece purple ones one on each side there and one over here on this side like that all right next step we're going to take a smooth purple piece four piece and put it across the bottom then we're going to take a uh, two piece purple piece, oh, not that one, a smooth one, put it right in the middle. Then we're going to take these two nice blue pieces, and we're going to put them on either side right there and right here. And then we're going to take a smooth eight piece and put it right there across the top. Okay, next up we're going to take a two piece white piece. Maybe, 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 there it is. We're going to stick it right in the middle, right there. Okay, and then we're going to take two of these pieces, they're opposite hands. They look like this, so they're kind of curved away and they've got a cut out in them. It's hard to see there. And we're going to cut them towards our inside. So we're going to go like this with the cut going this way. And then one on the other side, cutting back in the other way. Okay. Next up, we're going to take these pieces that look like this they get a little cut in them and we're going to put them on top of each other so just like this and then we're going to take this piece that looks like this it's just a flat piece with a little point on it and we're going to put it with the point facing down like this okay and then we're going to take that whole thing and we're going to shove it oops in right here so it's going to fit up in that hole and then push back to hit those pegs. So there we go. All right, next up we're going to put our eyes in. All brickhead eyes have a big square, little square. Big square goes upper left, little square goes bottom right. Oops, and you want to try to get them on straight because they are hard to turn once you do get them on. Okay, another one, same way. Big square, upper left little square bottom right so there are her eyes and all brick heads that I've seen have the eyes the same way okay next up we're gonna take and turn her this way we're going to put two L-shaped white pieces one here like this one the other way like this we're gonna take this triangle white piece that looks like this we're going to put it on the bottom left, this bottom corner over here on the gray, with the slope coming up. So, oops, dropped it. So we're going to put it in like this. Okay, with the slopes back this way towards the top. And let's straighten that up a little bit. And then we're going to take a two-piece purple. Did not straighten that up. Two-piece purple, and we're going to put it right next to it. So let's put that one in, and then we'll straighten it up. There we go. Okay. Next up, we're going to take and put in a gray piece it looks like this it's a regular two piece it's only got one peg in the middle we're going to put it right here in the middle on that beige and gray piece there then we're going to put in a piece that looks like this it's a it's a two piece smooth gray or purple piece it's going to go right there then we're going to put in a white 
curved step piece. Looks like this. It's going to go on top of that white one. So we're going to put it in right there. And then we're going to put another smooth purple piece right below that. And just like that. All right. So next up, we're going to take another one of those curved stepped up pieces that looks like this. We're going to put it down inside that gray block right there. So we're going to put it in like that. Then we're going to put a one piece white uh, block. If I can find it. It's going to go, where's this one going to go? It's going to go on the second one down on the L. So it's going to go right there. And then we need another one of those ones that has a cut in it. Um, so it looks like this with a cut up. And it's going to go in right there. So it cuts in this way. Okay. Next up. We're going to put in, uh, let's see here. We're going to put up another one of these step pieces, curved step pieces. It's going to go on the top, so it's going to go up in right there. Okay, then we're going to put in a triangle piece that slopes down now, away from her head. So, we got it this way. We're going to turn it upside down. Oh, no, I dropped her and the piece almost. Okay, we're going to put it in there like this, so it slopes down. And then we're going to put in a where are we at here a triangle purple piece so we got one that looks like this but it's too long and we're going to put it sloping from the front to the back so we're going to put it like this so it slopes that way okay and then we're going to put in her earrings which is going to be this quarter shaped pie and the earrings are going to be in just like that there are her earrings all right next up we're going to take this two piece gray looks like this and we're going to take this gray piece that looks like this and we're going to stick that inside there up in there and then we're going to take and we're going to put that right here in the middle let's see here it's going to go almost all the way down to her earring so it's going to go just like that okay now we're going to take her and turn her all the way around we're going to put in a two-piece gray or purple across the bottom like that we're going to put in two L-shaped white pieces like this and like this. Then we're going to put in a triangle piece right here on the bottom where it is sloping up. So thick here, sloping that way. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we are going to take and add a curved step piece that looks like this. We're going to put that right here then we're going to put a smooth uh, purple piece right here then we're going to put another smooth purple piece inside those two gray ones so right there and then we're going to take another one of these gray ones with uh, not that one that one has one peg in it and you're going to put it in right there okay next up we're going to take another curved step piece oops I dropped it and we're going to put it down inside that gray hole right there. So one right there. Then we're going to take and put a one piece uh, regular block right here. It's going to go on that corner right there, which you get that straightened up a little bit. And then we're going to take another one of these cut pieces that looks like this. Put it up in there so it cuts up that way. <clears throat> okay, up next. We're going to put on another curved step piece. Okay, it's going to go right here, so we're going to put it in there. Then we're going to put another triangle piece in, sloping down this time, so it's going to go from here down that way. And then we're going to have a purple triangle piece again, it's too long. We're going to put it this way, sloping away from her body, like that. And then we're going to put her earring on. And it's going to go in just like the other one, just like that. Okay, next up we need another two-piece gray. And another one of these big arched pieces. We're going to put it up inside there. Same thing as the other side. We're going to put it right in here, just like that. Okay. Next up, we're going to turn her around to the back, like this. We're going to put an eight-piece white one across the bottom, like this. We're going to put two L-shaped white ones in here, one like that, one facing the other way, like that. Next up, we're going to put in 
two more L-shaped white ones. This time they're going to go right here and right here. So right in the middle of those. Okay, and then we're going to put a two-piece white one on the bottom right there. Like that. Okay, next up we got all these curved pieces. So this time we're going to put two of these, which are a thicker curved piece. We're going to put them right here in the middle. Let's see. Do, do, do. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, they're going to go right here in the middle like this. So there and here. Oops, got it backwards. Like that. Okay, then I got two pieces curved the other way, or the, the smaller ones. Oops, they're the thinner ones. And they're going to go here and. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Right there. And here. So it looks like this. All right, next up, we're going to put a two-piece white one here in the middle, like this. Then I gonna then I need to put two pie pieces on either side. So we're going to put one right there, like that, curved, and one right here, like that, curved. And then I'm going to put four triangle pieces on these bottom four, all sloped in this direction. Okay, so we're going to put one right there. I'm going to put one next to it right there. We're going to put one next to it right there. Oop, I got them sloping backwards. Hang on. That one's in backwards. Okay, then we're going to turn that around, put it that way. And then put the other one right next to it the same way. And then our last one is over here, all facing the same direction. So it looks like that. All right, next up, we're going to put her down. We're going to pick up our stand. We're going to take this smooth black one, four piece, and we're going to put it one row up inside. Okay. Then we're going to take these two pieces that look like this, with just a black square with a circle in the middle, peg in the middle of them, put one on each side. Then we're going to take this other smooth black one. We're going to run it across the back like that. And then we're going to take Ursula. And we're going to put her right in the middle of the pegs, just like, maybe, uh, oh, it goes this way, sorry. Goes in there just like that. Is that centered? It is not centered. Neither is that. Well, I guess they don't get centered. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, got it that time. No, uh, yes, yeah, close enough. All right, so there is our Ursula. This is a really, really cool detailed figure again. So it's got all the tentacles. Look at all the hair work in the hair, the detail work. Guys, I really, really, really like these Lego brick heads, especially the Disney ones. It makes it all better because I'm a huge Disney fan. Love Ursula because it's a villain. So really, really nice, guys. Okay, we're going to bring in our aerial here. If you would, guys, take a look at these two we got here. A lot of good detail work in both of these. Uh, if you would, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Again, I love these things. I uh, would love to hear from you guys to hear what you think. Um, also, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, please. Your support means everything to us. As always, have fun. Thanks for living in my world, and we will see you next time.